In the past video, we created a company named Universe Motors, and we have it information for its location, language, and currency, and save it into SAP system. This is where we can check for that configuration. We press this button, we check the enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, define company, and here we have our company. Now, as I have said, there is a second level of grouping in SAP, and that is called the company code. A company code is an organizational unit that is used for accounting purposes and forms part of the overall company. This option gives the system the structure needed in order to support the financial perspective. Many elements in SAP surround the operation of a company code, and now I am going to specify two of them. One is the chart of accounts. That that the thing that you must remember is when you have a company and this company has many company codes, each one of these company codes that belongs to the same company must use the same chart of accounts. The second one is the fiscal year breakdown. That also has to be the same for every company in the com every company code in the company. Further along, you will also learn that breaking down the information into company codes also enables the system to create an effective and reliable report system and the ability to create all supporting documents required for your enterprise, such as balance sheets, profit and loss statements, and even customized reports. In order to create a company code, you must go to this path. Again, you enter to the, to the SP, SPRO, you click the SAP reference IMG, Click Enterprise Structure, Definition, Financial Accounting, and click and edit, copy, delete, or check company code. Then the system gives us the option to copy, delete, check a company code, or edit company code data. The first option is a good one if you have already created a company code and you need to create a similar one. But for this example, we're going to create one from scrap. We select the option of Edit Company Code Data. The system displays the option for Change View Company Code, and it displays all the company codes that are preloaded with the system. As a previous example, you can leave them there without any problem or you can delete them. We're going to select the option for New Entries, and the system will take us to the screen for creating our, for creating our company code. First, we need to type the company code ID. This one must be four characters long, and this one cannot be changed. So you have to be careful. For this example, and to be consistent with our company, our company code is going to be UNMO. Second, we need to specify the name for our company code, and this can be 25 characters long. And also, for consistency, with our example, we are going to name it Universe Motors. Also, this option can be changed in the, in the future if necessary. The additional data is also, also can be changed in the future and is optional, except for the currency. As you can see, it has a special symbol with a check icon. This means that the field is mandatory. We are going to enter the city. We are going to enter the country. Again, we open the match code and we search for the United States. In currency, we also can open the match code and search for United States dollars. And for language, we can we also open the match code and we choose English. After we have filled all these text fields, we must enter the address option. That is this one. Here, you input the information that is going to be labeled for the company code. First, you can call it company. The name is Universe Motors. And there are plenty of fields that you can fill in order for your information to be available to other users. Again, here we can see the symbol with the check sign. 
that 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 in, indicates us that this field is mandatory we enter the country and for consistency again we choose the united states and we select the 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 okay option after we are satisfied with the information we save the options and the system will ask us to create a transport we create a new transport named creation of company code UNMO we click the save button and we click the OK button the system is now loading and it has already saved the information we exit to the S Pro menu and check that we have already created our company code we enter enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting edit copy or delete check information of company code edit company code data and we check for UNMO and here we go, we double click it and we have that information if you have any doubts or problems along the way feel free to post them in the forum